It's ironic that the height of the fire season before 4th of July weekend, right after the le city legalized fireworks, the city decided to close the fire truck company today. Today, Stockton firefighters had to take a difficult but necessary action, take the city of Stockton to court, prevent drastic cut of fire and emergency medical services. The city has decided to break our contract by closing truck company four, which sits behind me. The city thinks this is no big deal and they're dead wrong. We knew today that getting a temporary restraining order would be incredibly difficult. We had to try for the sake of the citizens of Stockton and our fellow firefighters who stand behind me. While the judge denied our request today, he did not say that our argument is wrong. He simply felt that at this point, he wasn't sure that he had the authority to stop the city's action. He has set a hearing date for a preliminary injunction for July 13th. We look forward to being able to make a more complete argument as to why the court does have the power to prevent the city's actions of putting firefighters and residents at risk. Our request is to stop the closure until we can put that matter before an arbitrator. There are only four trucks in the entire city. With the city's risk scheme, this cuts our rescue capacity by 25%. Further, Truck Company 4 covers the largest fire district in Stockton, providing protection to over 80,000 residents an elderly care facility and two large shopping malls which sit in front of me. The city manager said there is no real impact. Tell that to the residents who were on receiving end of the over 900 emergencies Truck 4 responded to this year, correction, last year. Without a doubt, response times are going to be increased. Without a doubt, these firefighters behind me are going to step up to the plate and do the best they can to their abilities. But I will tell you right now that those response times will be increased. What's going to happen is you'll see truck seven out on a call, whether it's a medical call or a fire call. You'll have a truck from downtown coming up to fill for this truck that's empty. So time, response times are going to increase. And as far as um, talking about safety and recommendations and what the fire chief said, he has a job to do. He has to report to a city manager. But as far as me agreeing with uh, safety impacts and response times not being affected, that's wrong. They will be affected without a doubt. There is a study that is public document from CityGate back in 2006 that recommended a fourth truck company to cover the north side because of the expanding growth to the north. That came out of the city's pocket who paid for that study to reflect that we did in fact need a fourth truck company in the city of Stockton. We will never refuse to meet with the city, and we never have. We have a history of doing that. Um, we have made concessions like I mentioned earlier. We want to keep this truck open but we also want to be fair, treated fairly and equally amongst all the other labor groups in the city. We addressed everything that they asked for. Contributions to pension, contributions to health, contributions to retiree health, all structural changes that they asked for. They asked for this and we went up and above the other groups and had in the package to pay for contributions to every one of our benefits. Obviously, most of you know that that doesn't happen right now, but before your time there were sacrifices made and pay given up to not pay for those. We understand what is going on right now with the budget and the, fisc and the fiscal situation the city's in, and that's why we knew we had to step up and start paying for our benefits. But from a labor standpoint, you just can't expect to start paying for benefits, keep your wages at 2007 without getting protection in there for our staffing and our apparatus staffing and everything that we have in our contract. That's just not the way bargaining works.